Treoris, Grim, I'm home from a pretty unfortunate adventure. All I could get was this clownfish. What? What's going on here? Are you bored? Ah. What do you want to do? Look, choose anything in the world you want to do, and we'll do it today. Get this clownfish out of the way. I think Craig dropped it somewhere. What do you want to do? Ah. You know what? That doesn't seem as crazy as it sounds. I have the perfect mod for you today, buddy. <laughs> Right then guys, looks like we found what we've been looking for, a village. So Treoris, where are you? You're so slow sometimes, you really are, but you've only got tiny legs I guess. So, the mod that we're using today to help us out and create your amazing fully automated villager army is the useful villagers mod, which allows us to use your very kind, the humble villager race in a little bit of a different way so that they can help us to dominate the world. Does that sound good Treoris? Good, then let's go and introduce ourselves. Now, bear in mind that there's going to be a little bit of a difference here. So uh, prepare yourself, prepare your mind, because look, look what the villagers have changed into. They're a little bit shorter. They've lost a little bit of weight. Look, Treoris a little bit plumper. You might have to get on the treadmill, Treoris. They've also changed head size. And more importantly, they now have workable arms, which is perfectly important for what we're going to use them for today. So Treoris, you just stay here for a second and I will get your army together. Awesome. Right then. So let's talk to this guy right here, the chosen one. His name is, let's call him Kevin. And let's right click on him. And you'll see straight away there is an immediate difference because you don't have have any bad trades to make which is awesome but you have three different buttons and we're going to explore all of them so the first one is follow me and let's see how quickly he can follow he's actually really speedy look at this he's got really long legs he's probably got like triple the length leg of treora so he's actually a lot more speedy and he will follow you to the ends of the earth and back until he dies or gets blocked or anything like that so yeah he's really cool really smart as well so let's bring him over here come on kevin let's go over here Kevin, come on. Come on, you are a little bit faster. You actually go through the floor as well, which is interesting. So let's do stop following and now go into the trade option. Now, you'll see this isn't a classic trade. So you won't be able to trade with villagers anymore. But what they can do now is a lot better than just offering bad trades. Believe me. So the top inventory space here is actually the villager's inventory. So he can now hold a whole chest's worth of stuff. So if I put some of this cobblestone in here and then get Kevin to follow me, he's kind of like a walking chest now which is awesome so if i get him to stop following and then trade he can have the cobblestone back which is really really handy and he can also do other things as well he can actually pick up stuff so let's grab this cobblestone let's grab this armor and we're gonna treat kevin we're gonna give him some gifts so let's um throw some cobblestone at him and as you can see it disappears straight away it doesn't matter how much you give them or how much at a time he will pick it all up straight away and it'll go straight into his where did you steal that cobblestone kevin what's wrong with you why have you stolen my cobblestone? Kevin, come on. That's a bit out of order, isn't it? <laughs> so Kevin apparently doesn't like taking stacks. He only likes it one at a time. So let's just give it him one at a time. And then it will all collect into his little trade post. And also you'll notice there's a blank space here, which we'll get to in a bit. But there's also some armor slots. So let's throw some armor at him. And not only will he pick it up, he will also equip it as well. And wow, Kevin, brown is definitely your color. You look... You look pretty fancy, Kevin. Let's actually trade him the leather tunic and the leather pants for a nice gift of... No, I put them on myself. They're pre-worn now, Kevin. They're second hand. So let's put them on. And we've got a chest plate and leggings. So these guys can now be equipped with armor. And if I give Kevin a quick punch, he won't take any damage. Take a look on the top left. He won't take any damage whatsoever, but he will get a little bit angry at me. It will only be the armor that takes the damage for him. So that is really, really cool. Right then, the next button is probably the most interesting. It's the change profession button. And right now, Kevin is a simple villager, but we can also change him to a lumberjack, a miner, and a farmer. So let's go for a lumberjack first, but you can see it's blacked out at the moment because we need to build a guild hall. Now to do that, you don't physically build one. You just take one of the houses that you found in a village and you place a certain thing on it, which is an item frame with one of three tools in. So you can actually place this on any block that's touching a door so you can put it here 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 or here and i think you can put it in the corners as well but i'm not 100 percent sure you're okay chicken what's going on there chicken he's a little bit distressed but we're going to put this above the door and then we're going to put a iron axe in it so now that is considered 
a guild for a lumberjack. So, Kevin, where did you go, buddy? Kevin, here we go. He's, he's chatting to his friend Brian over here. So, Kevin, allow me to change your profession quickly to the lumberjack. So, as you can see, you can now select it, which is awesome. So, we'll click that. He'll change into a nice red outfit, and now he'll trot off and go and spend some time in the lumberjack guild house. So, what I'm going to want to do now is add a chest for later on, because now Kevin has some magical abilities as a lumberjack. And if I gift him this um, beautiful iron axe here, he will now go and chop down trees in the vicinity and pick up all of the logs and the leaves and the saplings and he'll pretty much be able to make you an automated tree farm as well because he will pick up and plant saplings as well as just pick them up and when it gets to night time or he's run out of trees he'll come back to the chest and deposit them all in here so Kevin follow me for a second I've got to give you a few trees to chop down so let's go over here and see if he'll do it if not I'm going to grow some of my own so stop following Kevin and go ahead and um, chop down this tree for me let's see if he'll do it um, let's go for this tree here. Go on, Kevin. Mine that tree for me, buddy. I'm giving you access to it. Go on, go ahead. It's okay. It's okay. So over time, he will actually plant trees, chop down trees, pick up everything, and start making you, as I mentioned earlier, a really automated farm. So I just threw that sapling at him, and he planted it, and now it will grow. Good job, Kevin. Good job. Now, I think the problem with it is that they need to be in the vicinity of it. So, let me try here. Might be you need to be in the vicinity of his village. So, Kevin, will you chop this tree down for me or is he going off somewhere else? Let's let's follow Kevin for a second. Don't chop. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He's, he's off planting many, many trees. Um, Kevin, are you okay? Kevin, Kevin, stop. Stop. Oh, my goodness. He needs to stop. <laughs> Kevin, you don't need to plant that many trees, buddy, okay? Jeez, he wants to plant them in the water and everything. Are you okay? Are you okay? Look, you know what? Follow me and I'll bring you to a tree and then we'll leave him to it and see if he chops it down. Kevin? Kevin? Oh my goodness, this is a tragedy. This is an absolute tragedy. What are you doing? What is your problem? Come over here, Speedy Gonzalez. Jesus, you've been eating loads of candy or something because you're, you're really hyper. Right then, stop following and hopefully he will start chopping down that tree. Right then, let's select another villager and we're going to select his friend Brian over here. And what we're going to do is change his profession to a miner and then we're going to change another one to a farmer. But of course, we need to make guild halls for that. So this is going to be the guild hall of the miner. And this one over here, I am... They can't even get to it. Look at that. Let's make it a little bit more accessible for them. This one is going to be the guild hall of the farmers. So there we go. They need a chest in each so they can all collect all of their valuables and put them in here. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You're going to be able to automate everything. So I'll show you what a miner does. Um, let's go change profession, change to a miner, and he'll change into a grey outfit. And if I give him an iron pick... Brian, Brian, hey, Brian, that was, that was incredibly rude. What is wrong with you crashing on me like that? Right, what I'm going to do this time is pick on, let's call this guy Philip here. Let's right click Philip and give him the iron pickaxe first. And why, why did you give it back? Do you not want it? Do you not want it? You do want it. Let's put it into, okay, he's got it. It's okay. Um, he's got that. And now when I changed him to the mining profession, let's hope that it does not crash. Three, two, one. There we go. So he will now go off and mine, which is awesome. So what he'll do is go to the edge of his boundaries of the village and start mining down in a spiral. And also, if you give him some solid blocks, if he comes across any kind of ores or anything, but there's a gap in the way, he will be able to bridge across that gap to get the ore, which is incredibly smart. Go, Philip, go. Brian wasn't up to the challenge of being being an awesome villager miner. So where are you going to mine? Here he goes. What's he going to do? Here we go. He's going to go down here. Now, we're going to leave him for a moment as well and see what he ends up doing. And hopefully all of these trees that were planted... Oh, where did they go? They must have helped with the crash. I have no idea where... Where is, um, where is Kevin gone? Kevin? Are you okay, buddy? Um, I think we're gonna leave him for a moment, and we're gonna focus on the farmer. So let's give someone an iron hoe. Let's give this guy, no name, a little bit of an iron hoe. He's got seeds as well, which is really handy, and now we'll change him to a farmer. Okay, we need a guild hall. I'm pretty sure I made one, though. Did I not make one? I made... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I made one. Maybe because it doesn't have a door. So let's um, break this and make one with a door. Let's choose this one over here. How are you doing, Treoris, by the way? Have you seen Kevin anywhere? He's looking for Kevin, but he cannot find him. 
And Kevin has gone lost. I don't know where he is. Right there. And let's put the iron hoe up here and try and find No Name, who we gave the hoe to. Was it you? Yes. Look at that guess. Let's change his profession to farmer. And he changes into a nice green tunic. And he will pretty much just keep your farms ready to go. Let's go ahead and bone mill some of the crops. Um, it looks like they're pretty much grown already. But what he'll do is take the fully grown crops, pretty much just mine them up and plant seeds in their place. So he might take a while. He might take a while indeed. Why are you trying to go into the lumberjack one, huh? You're not a lumberjack. You're a farmer. But we'll leave him to it. And let's go and see what the miner has, um, has ended up doing. And it looks like, oh my goodness, Kevin's been here. Look, Kevin has mined down this tree. And that tree. Is Kevin over here? And he replanted it as well. Kevin, there he is. I found him. Kevin, oh my goodness. You've actually been doing stuff. Let, let me give you a little bit of stairway over here, buddy. There we go. He's being okay now. Awesome. So he's actually going ahead and mining up trees a long way away from home. But I guess that's okay. Don't fall back down, Kevin. Please. Please don't. But he, as you can see here from the evidence, he's knocked down this tree. And he's planted a brand new one. Acacia wood. My favorite wood, actually. And he's also gained... 20 acacia wood in his little inventory right then let's go and see if um how how philip is getting on oh my goodness look at this what have you been up to philip Jeez. so he obviously found an ore through here and mined it all up it might have been coal or something this high up and as um i mentioned earlier he will start doing a spiral staircase down but if he finds an ore he'll dig straight to it and pretty much it's a, a way of strip mining when you know where the ores are so it's a pretty powerful mining tool what did you grab it looks like he grabbed something else from over here. What have you grabbed, Philip? He's actually grabbed some cobblestone, 11 iron ore, and 32 coal. Look how impressive that is. I think that is seriously impressive. And now we're going to go and check on No Name, our little farmer, and see if he's doing anything or whether he's just a little bit confused. And I'm going to turn it to night in a second and show you them coming home and depositing all their stuff in the chest. Right then, he's obviously trying to get to the farm that um, he can't get to. That's fantastic work, No Name. Good job. Good job, buddy. But do you see that? He actually hit that wheat there and then changed it. So let's see if we can catch him doing it again. Go on. Mine these ones over here. Mine them. It's okay. It's okay. You can do it. You can do it, buddy. It's pretty much instant as well. He hit them with the hoe and then they'll change from grown crops. Oh, my goodness. All of them at the same time. That is efficient work, my friend. Really efficient. Look at that. And he's gained 45 carrots, 58 wheat, and 15 seeds in that time. And what I'm going to do now is time set to 1800, um, 18,000 even. And it will change tonight. And hopefully they will all make their way back to their appropriate guild halls. Because that means they'll deposit the stuff in their chests. Here comes Kevin. Look how speedy Kevin is. He's amazing. Look at this. Come on, Kevin. Cross the, cross the water. Okay, he doesn't want to go in the water, but he should return to his guild hall. Did I break his guild hall? I hope I didn't. And deposit all the stuff in his chest. Come on, Kevin, you could do it, buddy. You could do it. Where's your guild hall? Is it around here? Come on, Kevin, you could do it. It's right here. Deposit all the stuff in the chest and have a good sleep. You deserve it. You deserve it. You really do. That's the, the wrong one. But anyway, seems good enough. It seems good enough. Did he deposit in the chest? He did indeed. Actually, this is the right one. This is the mining one. How silly of me. I apologize, Kevin. But there we go. He's deposited his acacia wood. And um, when it becomes to morning again, when it's safe, he will go ahead and mine down all the trees. And here comes Philip. How you doing, Philip? There we go. Philip's in here, and he should have deposited his stuff in here. He ends up getting four flint, 14 cobblestone, three coal, 48 gravel, and 11 ore. So maybe, let me go and check. He might have used the cobblestone to bridge over a gap because he had a lot more there earlier. And also our farming friend, No Name, should be there as well on the way back. Look! Oh my goodness, he's so smart. He used the cobblestone to get out of the mine. This is... Literally insane. The AI on these things are incredible. And Treoris, where's Treoris gone? I don't think he'll run away too quickly because he's literally a boss when he's killing zombies. You don't want to see it, but it's literally amazing. How do you feel about using these guys for your army? Ah. Awesome. I have accomplished something today, which is awesome. So we're going to get busy employing all of these guys and getting them to work. And that is pretty much what this mod has to offer. So if you like what you see and do want to play it for yourself, it's one of the coolest mods I've seen in a while. So please do head to the description below where you'll find a link to download this mod. Also, if you haven't been to the channel, then please do subscribe and join Team TDN today for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy the video, a like would be greatly appreciated too. So thanks again for watching, everyone. And I will see you all next time. Come on, Trios, let's employ all of these people. Goodbye.